What's up beauty bunnies? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to try to turn myself into a bread doll. This challenge has been going all around for, I don't know, a few days now. And I was like, this would be so cute if I can try to do the same thing. So this is the brat doll I'm going to try to recreate. I'm going to insert a picture so it can be clearer for you. But um, she has a high ponytail. I already have a high ponytail. Hers is curled. Um, I'm trying not to put heat in my hair so I won't be curling my hair. But you, you get the effect. And then she has really dark eyebrows. Um... Yeah, my eyebrows are already done, and she has a lot of blush, and then she has a really dark, thick cat eye, so uh, I'm going to be trying to recreate this look. It doesn't look like there's much eyeshadow, a little, a little brown, uh, lots of lashes, and a really pink cheek and lip. So I'm hoping that this isn't like too complicated. It doesn't look too complicated, but then again, like I saw people like overdrawing their mouths and like drawing their eyes really big and I'm just like I can't do all that so this is going to be the realistic version of a Bratz doll like if I were a Bratz doll what would I look like so um yeah let's just get started so first things first I'm going to go in with primer this is the simple water boost hydrating booster I enjoy this on my face I feel like it blurs out my pores I feel like it really hydrates and just makes my makeup go on a lot smoother than it would if I weren't to apply it. I actually recently um, applied makeup and forgot to put that on and I felt like I saw every single lump and bump on my face and I was like oh no I can't do this. So I just apply it into my t-zone right here. I picked up today at Sephora some for Sally Drops, this is the Rose Gold Elixir. Um, I didn't try it out like when it first launched and I just figured I might as well try it out and see what happens. I got the little bottle because I wasn't going to pay for a big bottle if it didn't like work with my skin. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys know because everyone on YouTube uses it. But I'm just going to take, that's so pretty. I'm just going to take some drops of this. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to use and I'm going to put a little bit on my lips. I do have some Fenty Gloss Balm on my lips but why not. I'm going to go in with this makeup blur stick. It's the luminous one because like the breast doll she had like really luminous skin so I'm just going to take this here. And I'm going to work that in with my fingers as well. Now it's that time of the month so I'm breaking out all over my face like crazy. I don't know what the heck because I never break out like this but it is what it is. We good. So I think I'm going to go in with some a little bit of Fenty because I want to be a little like soft. I just enjoy this under all of my foundations. I haven't found a foundation that it hasn't worked well with yet. So, um, I always apply some right in this area under my eyes so my foundation and concealer goes on smoothly right there. So now I think for foundation I want to go in with the stick foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Stick Foundation in the color 330 Toffee. Um, I haven't used this in a long time but like look because I was using it a lot at one point. So it's a little dark for me but it's gonna like blend in with my neck well so I'm just going to just apply it to my face oh that's dark I'm gonna go in with my Mac 130 brush and just start working that into the skin now that I applied that with the brush I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender and really work and work that into the skin it's also going to pick up any extra product that may have been just laying on top that's what my foundation is looking like so far I'm going to go in with some concealer this is the Tarte Shape Tape in medium and I'm going to just conceal all my regular areas 
I've quickly realized that I'm an all or nothing type of girl, so it's either like all makeup or no makeup. And then I'm also going to apply some contour to my face. Now Bratz dolls, like their cheekbones are like a lot higher and like bigger. But again, I'm going to do like my realistic version. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again. And I'm going to start working that in. I don't want it to be too harsh, so that's pretty good. And I'm going to take the butt of that beauty blender and blend out that forehead. Ooh, look at that blend. I forgot how good um, Shape Tape was because I've been using the Too Faced Concealer. But Shape Tape really does just, oof. Something about using Shape Tape. Now that my face is blended out, I'm just going to set. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder in Warm Nude. I'm going to set under my eyes and everywhere that I contour. You guys already know. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that blend. Just how seamless it is. Next, I'm going to take my contouring a brush and I'm going to use the same powder but in coconut which is number 95. I think that might be the darkest if not like one of the darkest shades and I'm just going to set that contour and just bronze up my face. Why does my skin look so apart from these huge breakouts which I still don't understand how that happened but we're gonna just keep it pushing I'm gonna go into my MAC warm neutrals palette and I'm going to go into saddle of course that palette doesn't have a mirror take this into my crease I'm actually going to switch to my Sonia Keshek. It looks like this. It is the number 20 brush. And I'm going to take that saddle shade into my crease. I'm going to add a little bit of Dance on Dark, which is this top shade right here, on the same brush. And I'm just going to buff that right into the deepest part of my crease. I'm going to just apply it first, just the tiniest amount because her eyes look a little darker. I'm just going to take a Sonia Keshek blending brush and just diffuse that. Now I'm going to go in with wing liner. This is the Maybelline Master, I feel like this is all Maybelline situation. This is a Maybelline Master Precise um, eyeliner and it is in the color black. It's in the color black. I'm going to create a wing. I'm going to start off small and my nose is itching. I'm going to start off small and see what happens because I'm really terrified of this, but yeah. I'm getting nervous. Okay. Her, oh, her wing is all the way to her brow. Okay, we're gonna start small. That is not small, Lafani. <laughs> but it's not bad though. It's not bad. Okay, let's try to. My hands are shaking, guys.
Oof. And her wing goes all the way into the inner corner. That's as good as it's gonna get. Now, if I can do it on the other eye, we going somewhere. If I can't, all right, it's gonna be a struggle. So I noticed that on her lash line, her bottom lash line, she has, it's really dark. Um, it's black liner, like it's just black liner. I'm gonna apply some of this down at the bottom and then I'm gonna go in with Dance in the Dark and I'm gonna try to blend that out. We're just gonna apply some, oh that looks crazy as hell. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna take Dance in the Dark in this on this Sonia Keshik brush and just blend that shade out or just blend it out as much as I can. Actually, let me take a angled pencil brush. I kind of feel like that's what she looks like. <laughs> I can be completely delusional, but I feel like that's what she looks like. Alrighty, so I just applied some top and bottom mascara. I feel like Bratz dolls only have mascara on the out sides of their eyes. So I just put a little bit on the outside of my eyes and then top mascara. I feel like for lashes, I'm going to go in with these Lash in a Box lashes. They look like this. I got it off of Hush. Now they're like, they're plastic. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. It's their plastic lashes. Oh, this is in N4. Actually, I feel like that's kind of like the vibe. What do you guys think? Not too bad. So those are what the lashes look like. I just need them to dry. But I actually really do like these. And I don't, I really don't mind this like smoky lower lash line and then the thick liner. I actually think this is a look. Okay. This is a look. Next, I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. It's in matte and it's in new lows. It looks like this. This is actually a little old, like a lot old. But um, she has like really, really pink cheeks. So I'm just going to go in with this Sonia Keshik dual fiber brush and just kind of stamp it and rub it until I get some payoff. Oh, it's cute. But she has like pink cheeks. So I'm going to have to apply this a little heavy. But I'm going to go in with a powder brush and blend everything out. I mean, this is this is actually a look. Like, I don't know. I might have to start taking inspo from Brad's dolls more often because, honey. Wow. I'm going to take a little bit of that across my nose as well to try to make it more cohesive. Ooh. I'm going to take my sponge and just blend everything together. I'm going to apply some L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extending Spray. So I was feeling a little matte. A little too matte for my liking, but I actually like how this look is coming together. It looks like she has like Barbie pink lips. I have these two lipsticks. They came in like a little set from ColourPop. I'm not sure which one it is. It's pretty old, but I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand and I'm going to kind of create a little dry. Create that color out of those. So I'm going to take the darker, more purplish color on a little uh, concealer brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to line my lips. I'm overdrawing them just a little bit because of course Brett's lips are huge. I'm gonna take the lighter shade and I'm just going to apply that to my lips because just feel like it'll probably have more color payoff. But yeah, this is like really dry. 
So those are what the lips look like. I think now that I have that on, I definitely need to add more blush because, honey, them cheeks don't even look like they were touched by blush. So I'm going to go back in with the same blush, but I'm going to use a different brush. This is a more like, this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm going to go in with that and then just apply that. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and tap over that so it blends really nicely together. I actually, like, I don't mind the lip color. It's not, like, throwing me off. Um, that's going with some highlight. She doesn't have much highlight on, but I just feel like highlight is always needed. Okay. So this is the Makeup Revolution Luster Gold Liquid Drops. It's a liquid highlight. I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take it onto my Beauty Blender. I'm going to just dab that on and then blend it out. gloss I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Gloss Bomb because I just feel like that would probably be my best bet as far as like a clear-esque gloss. I'm just adding some Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals and I'm just applying it to like the high points of my face because I feel like that kind of just gives me more of a doll-esque look. Let's add some highlight to my collarbone. That you can't see because I got a fat neck. I'm just, I'm fat, so it doesn't matter. But we're going to add some anyway. Take some of that same highlight. We're going to just add that. So this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing something like this with really big wing liner and a bright lip i actually like how this look came out i don't think it came out bad at all so this is the final look i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i had fun making it it was a lot of guessing and a lot of hoping it was a lot of guessing and a lot of hoping and praying that it came out looking decent but i do like how it came out lots of blush lots of highlight bright lip smoky big eyeliner I like this. This is cute. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other video. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. We want to grow in 2019. And you know, we want to keep keep giving you nice popping content. I really like this look. I hope you guys do as well. I will leave all of the products that I used today down in the description box. And if I can find some links to them, I will link them as well. But again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.